This is Brian Watkins and this is my video tutorial for pivot table B4. This is the last pivot table we're going to do in this data set and it requires us to use the maximum function so that we can sort our 10 highest priced products based on their maximum unit price per item. As we recall from our examination of the data, these, these items had uh, multiple prices. So we're going to use the max function to find out which ones to show in our table. So we create the pivot table, we have the products, we have their unit price, but we don't want to use the sum of the unit price. Instead, we go to value field settings and we're going to choose the max function. And fortunately that max function will identify itself clearly on the top of our the top of our uh, report so that we don't get confused and get this right we can see right up front here uh, we're looking at max of unit price we only want to see the top 10 so we hit our filter box and we're going to use a value filter and we'll call the top 10 the top 10 based on max of unit price and there it is right now it's it's being sorted uh, by alphabetical order on the name of the product. We don't want to sort it that way. Instead, um, let's go to sort. We'll just uh, right click and we want to sort and we want more sort options and we're going to sort the product by max of unit price in descending order. And you'll find that simply by clicking in that column the program figured out that we were trying to sort by that field. Didn't even bother asking us what we wanted because it knew from where we clicked. So there we go. It's now done and it's sorted from the most expensive down to the, the least expensive. Here is an example of where many students fail to simply read the numbers. In this table we are looking at the maximum price that one item was sold for. So let's just take this dried apples. Uh, these dried apples sold for $53. If for some reason I had forgotten to use the max function, instead I used the sum function, well, those dried apples would be somewhere in the na neighborhood of $2,000. So because we're looking for the maximum price for one item, use a little common sense and realize that we're looking at just one box or unit of this product. This is important because everybody gets this wrong on the test and I'm going to just emphasize it again. If I turn this max into the sum, you're going to see a case of dried apples that's two thousand dollars. That doesn't make any sense. Read again your report identifies the 10 highest priced products. So you should see these numbers and say, oh, we're not selling rare uh, items that are going to cost this much. So what's wrong with this picture is that it's looking at the sum of unit price. Switch the sum to the max and your report is correct. Let's stretch it out a bit so that we can read everything. Let's give it a, a dark table. Uh, we haven't used turquoise yet, so we'll use the turquoise table. It all looks good. Let's click out of it. We're done. Just remember the difference between the max function, the average function, and the total function. And you'll understand what this series of pivot tables was trying to teach.